that. that. All right, guys, welcome to the tutorial. Today, we will be solving a very specific issue with the Logitech G29 in Car X. So, we got the GTR. Well, it's not the GTR, you know, it's a Skyline, but we got the Skyline, and I'm just gonna test it stock. Let's, let's just go drive it and let's see what the, what's going on with the car all right i'm gonna give you an example of what it normally does to me so right first wow this is horrible all right so it's almost under See this shit? It's impossible to drive. Wow. Alright, so as it sits, this thing has nowhere near enough torque or power. So we're gonna fix that. Let's try it one more time. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <clears throat> first things first, let's do this, right? The ultimate package. It adds all the tuning capabilities that you'll need. You'll notice the car like morphing, right? Boom, let's go to the dyno stand. This is where it gets interesting. So as it sits, let's test the car again because of it right now. It's a 758 horsepower GTR with 583 foot pounds of torque. That's crazy. That's way more than you, what you need, but it should it should skid now, right? All right, so you remember we put it in second just now and it barely took off the so. Okay. Oh, did you see that? That, that. That's what we're trying to fix today. See that? That rattle? So the car can be drifted like this. It's just that when you steer and then let the car realign, it fucking knocks its brains out, all right? So let's just do a quick little slidey boy just to make sure, you know? That is, yeah, nah. Yeah, that bad boy is almost undrivable. But, let's fix it. So, right now, <clears throat> we have access to this. So, this is the tune that I have. After I gathered some info from all over the internet, but there's one main guy that taught me a lot and I'll put his link in the description. I'll also put this link for the tune in the description because this is public knowledge as far as I can see. Um, so yeah, let's just do the first stuff right here. 14, 14, 45, 35. I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me fumble around. Right here. Bar around eight, that's zero, and the caster. So, all right, if you did all that shit, let's test it, right?
almost there, but check this out. Still does it. Still does it. So, the main thing I found that makes it knock is that. That right there, your caster. You put it at 4. Ackerman should be at 100. Max steering angle. And let's try it again. See? Nothing. It just resets. Like it should. At this point, your car becomes a lot easier to drive. carried away guys but you get the point follow through and do the rest of the tune but that was the main thing that is making the car nah, 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 nah. you know what i mean yeah so let's let's finish this up because right now the car is way too fast <laughs> it's way too fast to make any sense yeah so the bigger wheel diameter and that um, different tire compound should make a big difference oh it's already at 19 oh it's already 245s huh all right Let's fix the tire pressure, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Mom's guessing, right? Yeah, drop that to 90 because that's that's what's making the car so fast. Uh, I don't like to do wheel track with before I put a body kit on because you know the car might be a little wider, so the stance might change. So let's leave that for now. And I'm gonna put these at 25 because we don't need the big um, meaty tires on here. Yeah, yeah, see that, see that, that's, yeah, nah, 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 alright, so we want to, we, we want the torque to always be higher up in the rev range, like, we need, we need more torque than we need horsepower, that's what I'm trying to say, drop the boost to at least, like, 0.2 atmospheric pressure, so we're just under 500 horsepower, um, maybe 8,500, nice round number, eh, yeah, yeah, that's good enough, turn off that shit make lock that shit and my gearing could could use some work brakes fully front bias that's how i like to run it you can run like 70 um percent too but you know and and i want a lot of brake force like when i press my brakes i want the car to fucking you know what i mean so yeah uh yeah let's 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 do that and let's check what i have here for gear ratios yeah, see, my 240 was 300 horsepower. Um, 343 to... Boom. Let's see what it drives like now.
A lot more money to juggle. singing alright so that was it man that was it that's 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 the sauce right there you know I don't I don't know I don't know what more you want so yeah, I hope this was educational in some sense. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, make sure you like the video. Um, you can you can subscribe if you want. You know, you can send this to a friend that drifts on a wheel that has problems drifting on a wheel. If you want, you know, share this on Instagram, share this on TikTok, share this on you know what I mean, like every day, bro. I'm trying to get paid. But yeah. Have a good one and, and uh, happy Thanksgiving if you're celebrating that kind of thing right now because it's that kind of time. Happy Black Friday, you know. But yeah, peace out.